Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm here with my video series, Drum Set Lessons for Kids. Uh, today I wanted to talk about kind of what it takes to get started. Um, if, you're, if you're a kid out there and you want to learn to play drums and you want to don't know how to start, or for the parents that may be watching that want to help get their kids started on learning drums, it's kind of tricky to know where to start. Um, my opinion is that uh, you can be practicing and learning stuff about the drums with nothing at all. You can, you can learn and think about rhythms and you can use your hands and your feet to kind of practice coordinations and things, which is kind of one of the cool things about this instrument. But that's really not ideal at all. You really, really need a drum set as soon as possible. Um, however, I understand from a lot of experiences that it's not always realistic to get a drum set. It's, a, the drum set is a huge instrument, it's loud, uh, it's, it can create a lot of issues for a family or for neighbors or things like that. Um, so it's not always realistic. I do strongly recommend you get a drum set as soon as possible. That's ultimately the only real way to learn an instrument. You can't learn to play um, the clarinet really with no clarinet. You can't learn to play the piano without some kind of keyboard. You, you just have to have it sooner or later. Okay. Now, if you can't get a drum set, I strongly recommend you at least get a pair of sticks and a pad. With sticks and a pad, you can go a long way. And um, for myself, I had sticks and a pad for uh, many years, uh, <laughs> a lot, many years before I ever got a drum set that I owned in my house that I could play on. Okay. So um, let me talk a little bit about the sticks and the pad. First of all, the sticks. Um, I would start with the most generic stick you can get would be the Vic Firth brand, the 5A. That's what I would kind of recommend as an all-around generic stick. Um, here's the pair of sticks that I like to use. Um, these are, just so you know, these are the John Riley signature sticks made by Zildjian. Um, these I like for me personally because they're kind of long, they're longer than most sticks. I like the shape of the bead and the sound the bead gets on the cymbals and that kind of thing. Um, but the 5A is a great starting point. Now, if you are a smaller kid, or you have kids that are smaller, there's nothing wrong with getting some kid-sized drumsticks, like these ones right here. Uh, these are a, a very well-made stick. These are Vic Firth brand. They make them in a few different colors and things like that. These are just specifically made for smaller hands and smaller, you know, smaller size people. Um, and they work great. They're, they're a great product. They're balanced really well. They're made with very good quality. They work just perfect, especially if you have a smaller drum set at first. Um, I got some of these for my daughter a few years ago, and you know, they work really great for smaller kids. So if you have a, um, a child that doesn't quite need these little kid drumsticks, but maybe doesn't want you know, these really you know, big ones, here's a, just so you can see kind of the size comparison, the ones I use are quite a bit longer than the little child sticks. Um, there are a couple I would recommend. The Steve Gadd signature drumstick, which is made by Vic Firth. It's a black stick, um, so they're cool looking. They're on the shorter end, they're quite short. And also the Jojo Mayer signature stick, which is a white stick. It's also made by Vic Firth. Jojo Mayer is a small guy. Um, I've been able to meet him and, and go to one of his clinics, and he's talked about the, way, the, the idea behind the design of his sticks that he's a small guy with small hands, and he didn't really feel comfortable with any of the sticks that other people were designing. So his are a pretty good sort of in between, you know, child size and and maybe like one of these long, you know, sizes. So um, in the end, it doesn't really matter that much. It's just a pair of sticks. Um, but get something that uh, you know you like, that your child likes, and you feel comfortable with, and then grab a pad. This is what I would recommend. The Evans brand Real Feel Pad, and I would recommend getting this this big size. Usually, this is probably a 14 inch pad. Usually they make them in two sizes. There's the big and the small. And the small ones are about this size. They're significantly cheaper, so a lot of parents are um, persuaded to get a cheaper one or think, let's just get the cheaper one for now. But they're almost useless, because when you put them down on a playing surface and you start to hit them with any kind of force, they bounce and move around, and you can't really practice on a surface like that. It's just not you know, effective at all. You really gotta just spend 20 more bucks or whatever it is and get one of these bigger size pads. Um, they, there's a couple different styles of pad. 
I really would stay away from just about anything else. I would just get the ones that say real feel. They're the best ones to start with. They have the best you know, playing surface in my opinion. They're super thick and sturdy, thick wood, and they're nice and heavy. They're very durable. The first pad I ever had um, lasted me, what, 20 years or something like that. So it's a, it's a worthwhile investment. Um, after that, parents and, and, and kids kind of want to know, do I need to get some books or do I need to get some kind of materials that I can learn from? Um, that's a tricky one because there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of books. There are tons of books. There are so many videos and things like that, and they're kind of all over the place. A lot of the popular books that are still sold in music stores and online were written a long time ago. Some of them are specifically for learning you know, snare drum. They're meant to help you train your hands and learn coordination and things with your hands. And some of those were written literally a, uh, a century ago. Um, and they're very old fashioned. They're very effective, but it's kind of hard to know with, so, with such a huge range of stuff what you get. Um, I would stay away from getting anything that says um, kind of like beginner's course in drum set if all you have is sticks and a pad. There'll be hardly anything in there for just kind of uh, hand coordination and hand patterns if you get one of those. Those will all be geared towards starting learning patterns on the drum set. So if you don't have a drum set, don't get anything like that. I would probably recommend just, I, I wouldn't get anything for now. Um, if you want to follow along with my video series, I will be making more videos geared specifically towards those of you out there that have sticks and pad only and what you can do to kind of build up your, your ability, your technique, and your coordination. So I would say just grab the sticks and the pad if that's all you can start with. Now if you can get a drum set, um, great. Uh, I'm going to do a video in, in just a little bit that's going to talk more about what to look for in getting your first drum set and how to get started with that. But if you have questions, just starting out with sticks and a pad, please let me know. It's going to help me to know what kind of videos to make and what to talk about if I can get specific questions from kids that are, that are playing and they have difficulty or they have stuff they're wondering about. Let me know and I can make videos just to answer your questions specifically. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of, of how to get going. Um, like I said, contact me. You can email drumsetlessonsforkids at gmail.com, comment here on the YouTube video, or go to Facebook and, and uh, drop me a line, and I will do everything I can to help you out. Thanks. See you next time.